Good morning, everyone. Beth here from Cornerpy Studio. Welcome back. It is now Friday morning. It's still a little dark outside here, but it's Friday morning at about 20 after 6. And I just wanted to come in and show my finished piece to you from last night. See? I um, filled in the greenery with green upon green upon green paint when when it dried and then it's hard to see but what I also did to help define things is I used uh, gel pen I have um, some glittered gel pens and I used that and then on top of that I used um, on top of that I used stickles these are from Ranger. They're liquid pearls in the color of, I'm looking for it, it's hard to see on here, it doesn't say, it's hard to see. Oh, here it is. It is dimension is dimensional pearlescence paint so it's in the it's the pearl color on this one the white pearl color and then I used a red uh, glitter glue to add the berries and whatnot to my wreath for a little pop of color Use a little yellow paint to do my first candle, and I will do that as the weeks go. Here's my calendar for December. I used a Micron pen to do the lines and the numbers on my calendar. So it's all dry now. I let it set overnight. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to trim it down because it's going on the first page in my Junk Journal December journal. And uh, I'm going to show you my process for that. And what I'm going to use to glue it in is I'm going to use Fabri-Tac because it stays, it'll stay well. It'll hold it well. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to come in here and I'm going to use my trimmer. And there we go. Take that off. And see how nice and straight my lines are? That is from the washi tape around the edges. It just uh, keeps the paint where you want it. Gives you a guide for when you're painting. And uh, it looks really wonderful when it comes off. All right. Two, three sides. And one more. Hope you're all doing well today. And there we are. There's my piece. I'm going to move that out of the way. Bring this in. Okay, this is going to go here. And what I want to do after that is I'm going I want to use some washi tape to create a frame. Washi tape is is fun stuff. It goes on and stays on and it can come off and you can move it. So let me grab my washi. Okay, here we go. Where's my, I erased my writing. I wrote on here uh, what I wanted to do on this first page. And that's what I'll do sometimes. I'll open to a spot and, and just make a, a little note of what I want to do on a particular page. All right, I'm going to just have that dish hold that open for me so I can get the glue on here and get this to here. And then I will put some washi on it. So, now, uh, it is a little bit of a chilly morning out there here today. So, to make sure we dress warmly. I'm going to go around the edges 
Oops. And then I'm going to just do a little bit of a zigzag through the middle. Okay. Let's put this down. I'm going to go a little off, just a little off center. I'm going to go a little off to the right. All right. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my scraper here. I'm going to close the page and I'm going to press it down. So I'm going to press from the center out so the glue goes all the way to the edges. It's a little rough because of my stickles, but that's all right. They're nice and dry on the other side. And that just pushes it down nicely. There, it's down. Very nice. Oh, that's so pretty. All right, let's see. Here's my washi. I want to use one of these. I, um, I think I like the plaid. It makes everything pop. This is the poinsettia one. That two here. Um, deciding between the poinsettia one and the plaid one. I think I like the plaid one better. It brings the colors out. The poinsettia one is too busy. It's distracting. It takes the eye away from away from the image, and I don't want that to happen. I want my my painting here is the focal. Let me put a little. Oops, sorry about that. A little more glue, just right under there, to hold that corner. That's better. That's better. Now, when I put this washi down, I am going to put some glue on it. One thing, I, um, one thing, oops, one thing I really like about washi is you can put it down and move, move it. And I used it around the edges of my painting when I did it, so when I was done, I could remove it. Or what you can do to give it a little more adherence to make it a little more permanent is to use glue on the back side of it. This is coming off a little bit. Let me just cut that off. It was tearing a little. So what I want to do, and I will use glue on it. Some washi is a little more sticky than others. This one doesn't have a big stick to it, but it has a little bit of a stick. So what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna cut here. And when I put glue to the washi, I just stick it on top of the glue stick, put my thumb on it, and pull. And it gives it a nice coating of glue. And it, it'll stay. It'll stay right where I want it. I'm just going to put it right on the edge to hold the edge down. Because I don't want to go too close into my painting. That side is down. Let me do another one. This one's going to end up wrapping around, which is fine with me. It gives a little uh, pop to the page behind if you do that. Okay, again, I'm going to stick the washi right on here and just pull. I get my washi from a bunch of different places. I got a, a, a lot of it from Michael's years ago when they had... Um, they had bins upon bins. Um, you get three for a dollar or something like that. This one I think I got from Hobby Lobby. And you get um, like two or three for about six dollars or something like that of seasonal tapes. Or they also have... I'm not liking that. I'm not liking that. So before my glue dries, I'm going to pull that up. I'm not liking that. That's just too much there. Too much. And see what you can do with washi tape? It just comes right off. And I got it before the glue dried. Yeah, that's better. 
Yeah, I was not liking that. It was just too much. It was taking away from, away from my uh, painting. So I think I'm just going to leave it at that. And there is my December 1st prompt. You know what I will do, though? I will take my Micron pen. And I'm going to go around the edge because I want that edge to pop up a little bit. I want to see the edge of the paper. So I'm just going to go like this with the pen. You still in the thing? Yes, you are. I'm just going to go right along the edge. There we go. Oops. Hitting a little bit of glue. That's all right. Like that went right over it. Went right over it. And just bring that out to the corner. Bring that out to the corner. Just to make it pop a little bit. I like that. There. That's better. There. So there we are. Thank you for being here. Please press my little watermark down there. Like and subscribe so you can see some process videos and flip throughs and all sorts of um, different content that I will be putting up on, on the page. You all have a great day and a wonderful weekend. I will probably just do a little video at the craft fair tomorrow because I'll be busy at the craft fair. Uh, tonight I will come in and do a flip through of some of the journals that are going to the craft fair with me. So for now, you have a wonderful, wonderful Friday. And I will see you later. And thanks for stopping by again. Take care now.